So this video is an introduction to the online resources available at our website www.understandingsociety.ac.uk When you first go to our website, this is what you will see. If you're not familiar with Understanding Society, you may find it useful to read an introduction which can be accessed through the About Us drop-down menu by clicking on About the Study. To know about research using this study, click on the Research tab at the top. To know more about what questions are asked, what variables are available, what data files are available, you can either click on using the Data button in the middle of the screen or the Data and Documentation tab at the top of the page. Clicking either of these will bring you to this page, which provides a link to the UK Data Service website where our data can be downloaded. If you click on that link, you will go to the UK Data Service website. And if you click on this link at the bottom of the page, you will be taken straight to the UKDS page for Understanding Society with information on how to download it. Now getting back to the Understanding Society website. So which of these five panels should you click? For most of you, the relevant panel is the one titled Main Survey, so click on that. You can get to this page by using the drop-down menu at the top as well. This page gives a brief overview of the Main Survey, and on the right-hand side, you will see some very useful tabs. Let's start with Index Terms. If you click on that, it will take you to a page which shows a long list of topics. If you click on these, you will see the list of variables related to that topic. For example, let's start on Health Subjective Wellbeing. Now you will see a list of all the variables that have been tagged with this index term or keyword. In addition to the name of the variables, you will see a brief description of the variable, the data file in which it is available, and in which waves it was asked. Now let us go down the list and take a look at the variable which is about how the person feels about their appearance. As you can see, this is called YPHAP. It is available in the data file called Youth, which is where all information collected in the Youth Questionnaire is stored. You can also see it was asked in all eight waves of UKHLS and from onwards the fourth wave of the PHPS. If you click on any one of these numbers, it will take you to a description of the variable in that particular wave. So let's click on B4. You will get to a page like this. Here you can see the frequency distribution of the variable when it was asked in the fourth wave of the BHPS. You can see that 773 persons answered this question. You can also see the name of the data file in which the variable is stored and the text of that question. If you look at the bottom of the page, you can see under wave occurrences a list of waves when this was asked and you can toggle between the waves. So if you click on 2, you will get to this page which pertains to the second wave of the UKHLS. I should point out here that in the study all variable and file names have the same root name with a wave specific letter prefix. So wave 1 variable and file name start with A underscore. For wave 2, it is B underscore. For the BHPS waves, wave 1 variable and file name start with B A underscore. For wave 2, it is B B underscore and so on. So let's click on B4. And we are back to the page for B D underscore Y P H A P. Now there are different ways to search for a variable. We showed you one way by using index terms. Another way is by clicking on dataset documentation here and then doing a keyword search in the search box. Let's search for appearance. One of the first results that you get from this search is BD underscore YPHAP, the variable we have just been looking at. You can see that in addition to the name of the variable, you also get to see a short description of the variable and the file in which it is stored. Now let's do another search. Let's search for life satisfaction. Here are the results, so let's click on H underscore SCLFSATO. You can see that in addition to the frequency distribution, here you can also see something called the universe. 
which describes who were asked this question. The other variable we had looked at was asked of everyone, and so there was no need for the universe information. Here you can see only those who completed the interview by face-to-face -face mode and completed the self-completion, or those who completed the interview over the telephone or via the web were asked this question. In this study, if information about a variable is missing for someone, that is recorded as a negative value. Each value has a different meaning. So those who are not asked the question are given a value of minus 8. There are 1,374 such cases. There is another 1,683 persons who are not interviewed directly but via proxy and so are not asked this question. Then there are 66 people who refused to answer and 17 who said they didn't know. So the variable was given a value of minus 2 and minus 1 for these cases. For another 54, the data is missing for some other reason and the value is negative 9. Another way to search is by clicking on dataset documentation up here, but this time looking at the data files. If you click on any one of these numbers, you will get to a page which lists all the variables in the data file. For example, if you click on the number 1 next to indoor, you will go to this page where you can see all the variables in this file. The file is called a underscore indoor. Remember, all UKHLS Wave 1 files and variables start with the prefix A underscore. But there is a variable called PIDP which does not have a Wave prefix. It is a unique person identifier that identifies each sample member. As it is the same across waves, it has no Wave prefix. To search for a variable, you can either scroll down the page or use the search box at the top of the page. If you want to search within the questionnaire, just click on the questionnaires tab on the right hand side and you will see all the questionnaires across all waves. You can toggle between waves to see the questionnaires for each wave. For more detailed information on the study, its design, sampling strategy, fieldwork procedure, information about weights, etc., take a look at the user guides. Click on the user guide tab. This is the main user guide. Below it, you will see topic-specific user guides. To look at the technical reports, fieldwork documents, the long-term content plan or quality profile, click on the tabs on the right. To ask questions, you can go to the user forum and post your questions. You can also sign up for our training workshops here. You can also try our online training courses here and watch webinars and videos about the study here. We also provide syntax files for doing simple data management tasks. Click on the syntax tab. And finally, at the bottom of any page, you will see this box. Sign up here for our newsletter. Thank you.